Hello guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you about CO2 room, the operation of CO2 room, and how you operate it in case of emergency. Hi guys, this is CO2 room. This uh, CO2 is for engine room and for purifier room. On board, we have for engine room and purifier room. We have separate bottle for our purifier room and separate bottle for engine room. So as you can see here, for engine room, number of bottle depends upon the volume, volume of your engine room and wherever it is required. So for engine room, we have, see, you can see here it is 221. So on the back side, we have plenty of CO2 bottle. These all uh, total number of CO2 bottle is 221. That is for engine room. And for purifier room, and for purifier room, we have only six cylinders. So in, in the front, this num one, two, six, you can see here, this one, two, three, four, five, six, up to here, this all six bottle is only for purifier room. So if there is a fire in purifier room, so all these six bottle we will operate manually. There is no auto mode. Neither it is for engine room nor for purifier room. So in case of fire, you have to come to CO2 room or from the outside of the purifier room or from the fire station. We had three star from three places we can release this CO2. So we are now in CO2 room. Here in the CO2 room, you can see this is the temperature sensor. This is the temperature sensor. This will detect the room temperature. If we have a high room temperature, it will give you alarm. This is the CO2 fan panel. So this fan should automatically start. And when we have limit switch here, as you can see, we have this limit switch here. The moment you open the door, this limit switch will start the fan and you will get green indication here. The most important thing you should know about this CO2 room is that this fan section, this fan is always in exhaust mode. So in CO2 room, what you will find, this suction is always from the bottom because CO2 is heavier than air. That's why we have suction from the bottom from all three, four places. So that you know, all the, if there is any chances of CO2 in the room, so it will get sir outside so always ventilate when you enter in the CO2 room at least for one minute so it, it is starting automatically we don't have to come and start the moment you open the door it will start from the limit switch this is our POD valve POD means pressure operated discharge valve this is for purifier room here also we have limit switch if this see you can see this limit switch here if this valve get operated we, we will have alarm here also we have this limit switch here we have this time delay unit. This two time delays, one for purifier room, one for engine room. This time delay unit will delay for like 10 to 15 seconds. The moment you start releasing, this pilot cylinder is inside this uh, panel. Now we cannot open. Next time, next video we will show you how to try out this alarm and how to release which valve you have to open. Inside we have this two pilot cylinder. That two pilot cylinder, one is for POD valve. The moment you open this uh, pilot cylinder, this POD valve will get open automatically. And other cil uh, pilot cylinder is for releasing this uh, CO2. All two, uh, this uh, all 221 bottle will get released, will get released, and it will come to this common manifold. And you can see here, uh, this is the common manifold. This common, so common manifold, it will go into the engine room. The moment CO2 starts. You to get to start releasing from the cylinder here it will delay for like 10 to 15 seconds that delay is generally uh, in our sheet it is 40 seconds this will delay for 40 seconds after 40 seconds this all co2 will go to the engine room but before discharging co2 you have to take permission from the master and you have to isolate uh, you have to shut off the ventilation close everything you have to press emergency stop so that all the fuel lines will get cut off this is the way so in next video we will show you how to try the alarm and which two bottle i was talking about i will show you in the next video thank you so guys as you have seen uh, the electrical officer has explained co2 in a much better way and this is just a look of the co2 room how it looks i'll just give you a glimpse of it just have a look these are co2 bottles connected these are all connected interconnected as you can see and this is a branch valve this is a branch line going up and all these are connected to a very common manifold over here you can see they are connecting to a common manifold 
and this line is going down right down into the Indian room and this is going and this is the purifier line going right down so guys I hope you like it and uh, please do watch the videos for more contents thank you